Welcome. Hi, I'm Lee Burkeen with Louisiana Football TV Magazine. We have a great show tonight. We have two great coaches. One was a principal for many years, John McCain, who's coached many years, uh, was at Woodlawn as a principal, was the head coach of McNeese State, was at Central High School as, a, as an assistant coach at one time under Sonny Jackson and Johnny Nagel and several great coaches that were at that, on that staff when Steve Ensminger was there as a quarterback. And we also have Frank Monica, who's a Hall of Fame coach, 219, uh, several schools. He's great, great career. Over 50 years of coaching, Frank Monica. Started at Nickel State as a coach, was a baseball player. We're going to talk about that, too. We have much, much more. You're watching Louisiana Football TV Magazine. When I tore my ACL, I didn't think I'd ever be able to play soccer again. My doctor told me how important physical therapy would be, so I chose Peak. I'm glad I did. Now I'm stronger, faster, better than ever. Choose Peak. Choose Peak Performance Physical Therapy. Honey, what's wrong with the disposer? What disposer? Frog drain. Call Roto-Rooter, America's neighborhood drain expert. I'll leave for a little while. And all you other letters think you can take over my town. Look at you. None of you's even evolved. If the people want the money they deserve for their accident. The E guarantee. And as for you other letters, it's time you were erased. CSE Customs has moved to a bigger state-of-the-art facility to serve you better. We are your one-stop shop for automotive custom work, including fed liners, wheels, tires, lift kits, upholstery, and window tinting. CSC's full view showroom means you can watch in comfort and see every phase of work on your vehicle. CSC is famous for its lifetime guarantee on labor and for manufacturer's warranty work. Shop where the auto dealers shop for custom work. CSC Customs, airline at Old Jefferson, next to Brian Harris Audi. Exercising is my life, so when I had to stop because of my foot and ankle pain, I was absolutely devastated. I chose Peak and they taught me how to relieve the pain. They really do bring out the athlete in everyone. Choose Peak. Choose Peak Performance Physical Therapy. Welcome back. I want to thank Superior Grill. They've been a long time sponsor since 1996. Uh, was the first sponsor actually to, to give me a shot in our magazine, Louisiana Football. And they have locations all over the state. I know Frank Monica probably has been to the one in New Orleans, St. Charles Avenue. In Baton Rouge, you have Highland Road, the new location, Government Street. And if you're in Shreveport, Line Avenue, which is close to Bird High School, uh, go to Superior Grill. Good people. Uh, not only good people, but the owner played football and was an offensive lineman at Northwestern State, was a good offensive lineman from Menden High School, Bob Kershaw. No Frank kidding. Monica, thanks for joining us. Well, thank you, Lee, thanks for having me. Uh, a legendary coach, look, congrats on your 219 inductee to the Hall of Fame of Louisiana. That's a big deal. Yes, it was. I guess they lowered their standards to get somebody to let me in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, when they called you, what are you thinking? I mean, I mean, obviously, I mean, it's, it's an well, honor. When know? they first called, I said I, I was honored. Uh, you know, there's so many great people there, inductees, former inductees there. So it, you feel like it's a special group of people and maybe that somebody did recognize some things. You know, when I first got into the game of, of sports and athletics as a coach, uh, that was not one of my goals and, and, uh, and wins and things like that are not that important to me. I think it's all about the relationship with your players and your coaches. What's impressive is Coach Monica has a winning percentage of 76%. Dan, uh, going over 29 seasons, 275, 275 wins, 86 losses. And prior to that, I want to kind of turn the page way back. But you were a baseball player at Nichols State. A lot of people don't know that. And not only were you a baseball player at Nichols State, a third baseman, but you were on a World Series team 
Yeah. A lot of people don't know that Nichols State, I didn't know, in 1970, the year I was born, Coach. Yeah, right. 1970, and y'all made it to the final semifinal game against a team from California. Yes, Lee, we were actually in the college division back then. What in Omaha? Uh, uh, it was not Omaha, and we played in Springfield, <laughs> Missouri. We had won the regional in Illinois, and we went from there at Illinois State University and went from there to play. We were actually 2-0 in the winner's bracket, and we were beaten by a team 2-1 to one from California that had enrollment of 22,000. And but we were in the college division. They should have been actually in the university division. But a lot of those guys, the same players, we had. A, they honored the, the team on, on Saturday night at Nichols State. Uh, Coach Thibodeau was very very gracious to us about sharing that time with us, and, and uh, it was a very special moment to see all the old guys. Four of them have passed away since that time, but only a team of 21 players compared to the 35 they now have. Amazing, uh, Coach. What was your strength as a baseball player? Was it defense? Was it hitting? Was it your arm or? That, that's a good question. I got to ask myself that. You know, the uh, yeah. I, I just enjoyed the game. I was uh, I was uh, I was fortunate enough to be the team captain, and Coach Ray Didier was just a special guy. Great, He's inducted great in the Hall person. of Fame too. And he taught us so much. Most of our guys were local. Most of our guys from the Baton Rouge, New Orleans area, and that's what made it even more special. So I'm I'm thinking 21 players. So you take the infielders out of it and the catchers. You don't even have a dozen pitchers. No. I mean, there's no such thing, Lee, as pitch count. That's amazing. As, as, exactly. No such thing as pitch count. Uh, in fact, I don't know of anyone that was actually injured for any, any duration of time uh, whatsoever, and things were just different then. And, but it was still great baseball, and Coach D.D. really stressed pitching and defense uh, on, a, on a daily basis. Well, Coach started his coaching career at Nichols State as an assistant and went to Lutcher. You won a state championship at Lutcher, the Bulldogs. You had a great quarterback in Terrence Jones. No, I, uh, I did not coach. You didn't coach at Lionel Washington. Is, is Lionel, Lionel Washington was, was a cornerback. That, great player. That, that, that I did have. A guy by the name of Kurt Carterero was my, my quarterback. We actually won, won a state championship in football and baseball in the same year, and, uh, which, was, which was pretty unique back, back then. You know, But uh, we had a real good run there until my, my chance came to go to Tulane University. And you, uh, you know, Mike Motz was on a on Lutcher team. So yes, a great was. fullback. I was watching uh, highlights the other day, but he was, the, I think, one of the best blockers in the history of LSU football for Dalton Hilliard. He did a great job, especially that 82 team that beat Alabama and Paul Bear Bryan at Alabama. People forget about Mike Muntz. Yes, yeah, he, was, he was a special guy. He was a long-rangey guy, but he really could block, and he was, he was a good inside runner inside the tackles and, and could catch the ball out of the backfield also. Coach uh, coached at Riverside Academy again. Uh, in the River Parishes, uh, Jesuit. Uh, you coached uh, Gordy Rush. Yeah, I certainly did. Our local uh, celebrity, Gordy Rush. And what was Gordy like as a, oh, as a player? Phenomenal hitter. In fact, he, his, his, his claim to fame is, and uh, he knocked out Leroy Horde the very first play of the game Aug. against St. Aug on a Sunday afternoon. And it, it led, <laughs> we, thank God he did because we only won the, won the game 14-7. to seven. But Gordy was the guy the very first play, he, he knocked him out of the ball game. And nowadays there was no such thing as concussion protocol back then. Yeah. But it just goes to show you how hard a, a vicious the blow that was. And then Gordy was a, a walk-on special team guy. He signed with Purdue, right? He signed with Purdue, school. state of the year. Ended up at LSU and uh, had a good career as a special team. I think he blocked a couple of punts at LSU. Uh, and coach, I mean, you coached everywhere but East St. John in the River Parish. Right, right. So you, you, you know, as a map, you knew that whole area, and then you're now at St. Charles Catholic. You've been at St. Charles Catholic for many years. Uh, your teams are always competitive. You always have great defenses. Um, your teams are always not really full of D1 players, but your kids are tough, well coached, and you got a staff that is family. I mean, you've right. got a son on your staff. Talk about your son. Okay, I have, a, I, have, I have one son that's my offense coordinator, Ty, and he's also the head softball coach now. And my nephew, Wayne Stein, is, is also my defensive coordinator, also the head baseball coach. And as you know, I have another son oh, at yeah. Rummel uh, High School, and they were fortunate enough to win the state championship. In fact, it was sort of odd because he played the Friday night, we played the Saturday in the state championship game on opposite nights with one another. But it was really cool to see him have that much success his first year. But I also warned him and said, you might have won too many too fast. The pressure. Yeah. Um, but, but Nick Monica, uh, coach's son, his first year as head coach at Rommel, taken over for longtime coach Jay Roth, mm -hmm. wins the state championship over a very good Catholic high Baton Rouge team at Tulane Stadium, um, which 
You were you happened to be at the game. I, I was think. You I were was at the game. I was at the game. I thought Catholic High was exceptional. They really were a good team. I I think they they outplayed Rumble till the fourth quarter, and Rumble got a big completion, then a kickoff return, and that led to everything else. And but uh, Rumble's defense was exceptional all year long. Coach, you know what our tie is with tonight's show, huh? John McCain is coming on later. Went to Catholic High Baton Rouge. Oh, he did. That's, exa <laughs> that's, that's exactly right. Well, He's have, an alumnus. So. Oh, uh, coach, <laughs> we have to ask John about job. that game. But they did win a state championship, a couple of state championships in the last four years. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a break. We got more with Coach Frank Monica. We're going to have Coach uh, John McCain join us later in the show. You're watching Louisiana Football TV Magazine. I'm injury lawyer E. Eric Gerard. Does the Superman comic where he leaves Earth and comes back only to find a bunch of other superheroes trying to fight evil but just not getting the job done? Well, I'm back. Now there's all these other lawyers on TV saying they can help you with their injury claim, but something's just not the same. There's only one Superman and there's only one E. E. Eric Gerard. eGuarantee.com. Get the E. Guarantee. Disposer? What disposer? Frog drain. Call Roto Rooter, America's neighborhood drain expert. Hi, we are live with the PPTV network where one of the top athletes is about to make his important decision. We know his character and nothing will hold him back. I'm glad to have my family and friends here for this choice. It's more than my career, it will affect the rest of my life. I choose peak performance physical therapy. The decision is in. Why choose peak? Their reputation and their regular success is unmatched. When it matters most, another patient chooses peak performance physical therapy. The Wright Group has been dedicated to enriching lives for over 100 years. With its roots in Louisiana, it branches across the U.S. and around the world. The Wright Group is a key supplier and contributor to the functional food, sports nutrition, supplement, and health and fitness markets, supplying customized nutritional blends, vitamin and mineral premixes, and micro-encapsulated ingredients, leading the way in customer service and innovation, fueling the way we live. The Wright Team, The Wright Group. Welcome back, Lee Burkeen, Louisiana Football TV Magazine. Before we go back to Coach Monica, I want to promote a podcast uh, that we started. And, and I joined the podcast world. Coach, I didn't even know what a podcast was until about a month ago. <laughs> and, you know, my young editor, he's 24, 23 years old, Jace Lejeune. He's like, look, we need a podcast for, you know, people that are, you know, 35 and under. That's what they do now. They click their phone and... They watch these spots. So we've got a great podcast called The Sports Scouting Report with Lee Burkeen. And it's, it's a long two-hour show instead of a one-hour show. And what we do, we cover 30 topics. And it's football, basketball, baseball. And there's a commercial that we want to just show uh, that we made just to give people in, all over Louisiana the show goes. But this is our podcast that's going to come up in a second. It's a new commercial. podcast, The Sports Scouting Report with Lee Burkeen. His passion is real, and his guest list is a who's who in Louisiana sports. Each week, Lee brings guests with exciting stories from his travels in recruiting over the past 30 years. The in-depth interviews and stories are from all sports, not just football. Find out why parents, athletes, coaches, and administrators rely on Lee's analysis to grade and project talent. The Sports Scouting Report on Podbean, Spotify, Apple, and Google Play. Learn what these other... Uh angles are to put the show coach I didn't even know what Spotify meant or Podbean and it's a whole new thing coach like you said everything's changing I'm still with the 16 millimeter camera you know <laughs> <laughs> I just know the mic works and we can bring people on and talk about football and baseball and we can talk about basketball we had Stanley Roberts on our second show former seven foot center of LSU the Atlanta Magic with Dale Brown on one of our shows uh, we had a junior college coach from Hines Mississippi call in just just a little bit of everything. It's just a little bit longer show. But, Coach, getting back to Coach Frank Monica, two state championships. It's hard to win 
two state championships in your career. You won one at St. Charles Catholic, one at Lutcher. But it's really hard to get to that state championship game. It's, re it's really difficult. We, we've, five times we've, we've gotten there. Uh, we won two, and five other times we ended up being the runner-up. And it's really, really difficult because uh, nowadays the coaching has gotten so much better, and the players have gotten bigger and faster, and uh, it's really difficult. And now with the, uh, with the tremendous influx of what, what you call the, the iPads now yeah. and the huddle, uh, there's, there's no downtime for a coach. Here's some film on your team, Coach, that you provided to us at your stadium. Um, uh, every week it's a tough opponent. I, I went to your E.D. White game this year, but, uh, you know, there's no teams that you play that are not – I mean, everybody's big on the O.D. line these days. Everybody's got speed. Uh, your team this past year had a really good D line. Yeah. And your O-line was the senior O-line. Right. you got to replace those guys. Right. But talk about your team this past year and what was one of your strengths this past year. I um, think we, we were resilient. We, we played good defense. We played excellent special teams. And we, we were efficient on offense. We weren't great. We weren't very explosive. We didn't have any explosive plays. But we were very efficient. Our turnover margin on the year Lee, was, was plus 19. And that always helps because you take care of the football, you make them beat your defense. Yeah. But I think the resiliency of our team proved itself. We, we won a triple overtime game against De La Salle. Uh, we, we, we won against Slutcher in the, in, in the game that was very close. They had the ball inside our 10-yard line. Catholic and New Iberia. And Catholic and New Iberia was a, double over, was, a, was a double overtime game. And this was a semifinal ball game. And uh, they were a very, very good football team, well coached by Coach Indes. And so we were very fortunate to get to that, that championship game. We didn't play like we, we would like to have played. Uh, yeah. the, the team we played Lafayette Christian was, was excellent, very talented, leading team. But, you know, we got there. We had, a, we had a chance, but we just didn't perform like we were capable of And then, you know, playing. Catholic of New Iberia, this, this team has some great quarterbacks that can oh. dual threat guys. Brand always has a big dual threat quarterback and good backs. And this, this guy was phenomenal. I mean, we couldn't tackle him. I mean, if we could have played with 25 guys on the team, but <laughs> Still, he was phenomenal. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and thank God we were able to pull that, pull that out at the end. Uh, they lost the ball, lost the fumble down there inside the five yard line one time that really, really helped us and preserved the win. And, and coach, it's not getting any easier. Everybody we're mentioned is going to be talented again next year. Catholic and Iberia will be, they were young this year. They're going to be good next year. De La Salle be good next year. Um, you know, just the same opponents are still going to be pretty strong. So, I mean, it's, it doesn't get any easier. But the love of the game and your focus and your staff, there's nothing like high school football, right, Coach? What's happened, Lee, in, in the, with the smaller districts, we were able to have to go out and find eight games. We only had three district games. We had to go find, that, find seven rather games. And it's harder to find games now. And a lot of people won't play, so you have to play up. Yeah. with your schedule and that makes it difficult from week to week it's a grind well i mean i remember in some years you had newman right and and some other teams that were on the schedule you just traded out good programs for right. good programs but we do uh, have newman again and uh, we beat them 28 27 with the little manning kid Arch that's manning, gonna be, he's huh? gonna be a phenom he's already six foot three and he can throw he already can throw darts so uh that, it's a great future for him and they're young they were young this year exactly um you know Coach, what, what is your opinion of the, the future of the game here in Louisiana? We've got over 300 high schools. Um, you know, it's, it's become a spread, you know, state. Everybody wants to spread them out. And, mm -hmm. But what I love about your program is that you've become balanced, but it's still the old traditional football game. It's still we run the ball. you got great defenses. I love that. You know, I'm not a big fan of the spread. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm really not. I know you're defending the spread every week, but what, what is your thoughts on the Lee, future? That's a great question. The game has changed because with the RPO, RPO game, it's allowed the linemen to get up field into your linebackers and the ball is being thrown over their head. And that, to me, that's, that's not correct. You know, that's not what it's all about. But you still have to be able to play good defense and run the football to win. I think that's proven in the NFL. I think that's proven in college. You still have to have that element of, of the, the ground attack because – on a bad night when the quarterback's off or, or if it's inclement weather, uh, you have to be able to run the ball and control the line of scrimmage. That's what it's all about. But more importantly, as a concern of mine, as a coach for over the years, and I'm, you know, I'm not on the 18th green, but I can see the clubhouse of my career. You know, uh, The point of being uh, the, we, everybody, the concussion protocol thing concerns me because now uh, you know, with the heat and humidity in Louisiana, the symptoms of a concussion and heat exhaustion are the same. 
And yeah. sometimes we that that misdiagnosed when it comes to that. And I don't know where the game is headed nowadays because of that that particular uh, procedure, what we call concussion protocol. And also, look, any kids watching, because I know Coach Monica is not the only coach that feels this way. It's very good to play offensive line in high school. <laughs> I know you're not getting the attention like the wideouts and the quarterbacks. And I know it's not as popular. But let me tell you what, in the NFL, they still have five starting offensive linemen. They get paid pretty good. And now college O-linemen are getting the credit. You've got awards for the O-line. But I'm just trying to put that out there. There's a lot of coaches. Coach told me today, many coaches have told me this year, they're having trouble finding offensive linemen for spring. Right. There's a shortage. Right. Kids, it's okay. I mean, if you're 6'4", 220, bulk up and play O-line. Yeah, I don't see, try and play Mike, <laughs> linebacker. I say that all the time. I say you know, nobody knows the offensive line. They don't even have fingerprints. You know, nobody <laughs> right, knows who right, they are. Right. You know, but I think the way to be, get noticed is the fact that you become a great one and you play sooner. You right. get on the field, you get on the grass, and you play as a sophomore or junior rather than wait till your senior year just to play D-line. We're going to take a break. We'll come back. We've got John McCann joining us, and then we're going to have Coach Monica Rejoin us with John later in the show. You're watching Louisiana Football TV Magazine. Well, I've had back pain now and then, but it got so bad I couldn't even bend over. I didn't want to resort to pain pills, so I chose Peak, hoping they could relieve the pain. They got me active again. I even lost weight. I believe in better. I chose Peak. Choose Peak Performance Physical Therapy. Honey, what's wrong with the disposer? What disposer? Frog drain. Call Roto-Rooter, America's neighborhood drain expert. I spent years suffering from knee pain, so I decided to have replacement surgery. My doctor did a great job, and he allowed me to choose Peak for my PT. I should have done this a long time ago. I'm so glad I chose Peak. Choose Peak Performance Physical Therapy. I'll leave for a little while, and all you other letters think you can take over my town. Look at you. None of you's even evolved. If the people want the money they deserve for their accident. The E guarantee. Mm. And as for you other letters, it's time you were erased. CSE Customs has moved to a bigger state-of-the-art facility to serve you better. We are your one-stop shop for automotive custom work, including bed liners, wheels, tires, lift kits, upholstery, and window tinting. CSC's full view showroom means you can watch in comfort and see every phase of work on your vehicle. CSC is famous for its lifetime guarantee on labor and for manufacturer's warranty work. Shop where the auto dealers shop for custom work. CSC Customs, airline at Old Jefferson, next to Brian Harris Audi. Welcome back, Libra King, Louisiana Football TV Magazine. Go to our website, LAFootballMagazine.com. If you've never seen it, if you're looking for the magazines, Louisiana Football, you can still order this past year because I know mom and dads like to keep the magazines. We're working on, it's, it's crazy to say 2020. We're working on 2020 for our preview magazine this August. Uh, started in 1996. We do a North Magazine and a South Magazine, so... You can go on our site. You can also uh, check out our podcasts on the site. You can just click it. If, you, if you're not very technical savvy like me, you can just click it and, and hear it. Just put your phone down and just, just hear the show. It's, it's audio, and you can, you can check it out. But I want to introduce, and I'm proud to have today a guest that's uh, spent his whole career with either colleges or high schools as a coach, uh, as a player in college uh, for LSU, uh, spent many years as a principal at both Bel Air High School and Woodlawn in Baton Rouge. Was the head football coach at McNeese State for a few years in the 80s. Coach Leonard Smith and, and a, uh, a bunch of great, Buford Jordan, a lot of great players. Um, and currently still in the school system, we'll let John tell you about what he's doing. But I want to go ahead and welcome John McCann to the show. John, thank you. Thanks, Lee. Thanks for having me. Uh, we, 
we know one another in the last right. four or five years yeah. through a mutual friend, Johnny Nagel. I want to yeah. give Johnny a, yeah. one, my a, best friend. one of your best friends from yeah. playing football at LSU. Correct. And we eat, uh, and I'll, I'll, uh, Squeaky will love this at City Cafe. Yeah. Squeaky will love the free and, ad. And, and y'all invite me sometimes to join your group on Thursday nights. Yeah. Uh, and you had told me the last few weeks, man, I've been watching your show. Yeah. Like well, a, I was, uh, I don't know why I didn't tune in before, but as we started talking yeah. and you start expanding the format, you had different people with different uh, sports on besides just football, and I started watching. And I saw the, the older group of guys, probably around my age, that you brought up from uh, South Lafouche. Had a great show. And then you have basketball guys on, a uh, baseball coach from Catholic High, my old school. And the more I watched, the more I got interested. I think, yeah. you, I think you're really doing a great job uh, previewing and, and expose, giving exposure to these high school athletes. John, you got your, both your bachelor's and your master's degrees at LSU. Correct. You were a football player at LSU. Right. You played at Catholic High, Baton Rouge. That's correct. So played, played at Catholic High. We were, uh, we were just talking off camera a few minutes ago about the tough district we were in. Uh, highest classification there was 3A, and we were in the district with the Struma High School, who ruled the state back in those days, and Baton Rouge High, and Bogalusa, Terrebonne, Glen Oaks, Broadmoor. It was a it was a tough battle every week. They were all dominant during that era. Very very strong. Bogalusa, we had their guys on uh, in the 60s and 70s. They didn't lose many games. No, they did not. And they were physically very intimidating. They Struma were big, had big little guys. big fuzzy brown. The coaches. Yes, one year Struma had 16 guys sign four year scholarships off you, one team. You know Donnie Bozeman, who played there, went to That's Struma, right. and then yes. um, Buddy know, Milliken. Buddy Mill but Billy Cannon and late Jimmy Billy Cannon. Ducey. Just on and on. On and on. If you Tommy Fusell. Yeah, and in Baton Rouge High, I mean, look at the great players that come out of Baton Rouge High. Fantastic. Sometimes Baton Rouge High <coughs> had a great team and didn't make the playoffs because you had to be the first place team in those days. And they would, they would finish second to a Struma and go nowhere. It, it, was, it was very competitive. Jimmy Taylor was pretty good. Jimmy Taylor's toughest football player I've ever seen. George Bevan, Spike Pierce, great players at Baton Rouge High. Warren Rabb. John, what is your best memories of, uh, and I hear you talk about LSU all the time because, you know, you still keep up with the Tigers. And, oh, closely. Um, what, what was your experiences like uh, coming out of high school, out of Catholic High, as a young man, going to LSU at that time, which is a dream for every kid growing up? Yeah. Well, it was, uh, it was I was in awe, pretty much. Uh, I was 17 years old when I signed the scholarship. Uh, Steve Polozola, my good friend from Catholic High, says I'm probably the youngest person ever to sign a four-year scholarship at that time. And so I was a little behind uh, maturity-wise. I went to LSU. We had a freshman team in those days. We were undefeated again on the freshman team. And I redshirted one year, started to get a little bit bigger and stronger and got where I could play and lettered three years. But I was really fortunate with the people who were around at that time that I got to play with and got to know. Played on a 1970 SEC championship team under the late Charles McClendon, yep. Charlie Mack. Um, graduated from Catholic High in 1966. That's correct. Um, Grizzly greats. Grizzly greats. And yes. uh, I've, an I've seen you at those Hall of Fame yes. banquets. You still Very go? nice. They, they do a great job <laughs> and have really, have really upgraded that, uh, that whole process at Catholic High. It's very, very first class. Now, now we're going to get to the, his principal days, but we're not there yet. But... Uh, you then went on to Central High and coached under Sonny Jackson. Yeah, Sonny, Sonny's still with us. As you know, we get together with Sonny when we can. Great guy, great motivator. He loved kids, and uh, Sonny could uh, raise money, coach football, and do it, do it all at the same time. And uh, Bel Air High School, and, and uh, before joining McNeese State, uh, where you became the head coach, you were an assistant first. Yes. Uh, well, Lake Charles gets his show, John, but what, what do you, McNeese is, it's grown, Lake Charles has grown a lot since then. Well, there's a lot of investment, as you yeah, know, because yeah. you go down there quite a bit yeah. with the petrochemical industry and the liquefied natural gas. It's a boom town now. I mean, it, it's building all over the place. 1982. Yes. Head coach and uh, some great players. When we come back, I want to continue with John and talk about some of the great players that he coached at McNeese State, like Leonard Smith, 
uh, and a couple of other big names that played in the NFL. We'll be right back in just a minute. I'm injury lawyer E. Eric Gerard. Does Superman comic where he leaves Earth and comes back only to find a bunch of other superheroes trying to fight evil but just not getting the job done? Well, I'm back. Now there's all these other lawyers on TV saying they can help you with their injury claim, but something's just not the same. There's only one Superman, and there's only one E. E. Eric Gerard. EGuarantee.com. Get the E. Guarantee. Hi, we are live with the PPTV Network, where one of the top athletes is about to make his important decision. We know his character, and nothing will hold him back. I'm glad to have my family and friends here for this choice. It's more than my career. It will affect the rest of my life. I choose peak performance physical therapy. The decision is in. Why choose peak? The reputation and their regular success is unmatched. When it matters most, another patient chooses peak performance physical therapy. Honey, what's wrong with the disposer? What disposer? Frog drain. Call Roto Rooter, America's neighborhood drain expert. The Wright Group has been dedicated to enriching lives for over 100 years. With its roots in Louisiana, it branches across the U.S. and around the world. The Wright Group is a key supplier and contributor to the functional food, sports nutrition, supplement, and health and fitness markets, supplying customized nutritional blends, vitamin and mineral premixes, and micro-encapsulated ingredients, leading the way in customer service and innovation, fueling the way we live. The Wright Team, The Wright Group. Welcome back, Lee Burkane, Louisiana Football TV Magazine. We're still talking to John McCain, and we also have the legendary coach Frank Monaco be joining us again. But I want to, want to stay with McNeese State, and John was the head coach at McNeese State, started in, in that 82 era, and he was an assistant prior to that. Um, but the, the players, Buford Smith, Jordan, I mean, Buford Jordan played for the Saints. Everybody knew Buford Jordan. Yes. But prior to the Saints, he was at McNeese. He was a Cowboy. That's right. He was a great player. He, he, uh, he broke the state rushing record for collegiate rushing, held it for a few years. Um, we had some great players. Uh, Brian Hicks played with the Cincinnati Bengals a few years. Uh, Rusty Gilbo played with the uh, New York Jets. Opelousas area. That's yeah. right. That's right. And, uh, of course, Leonard. Leonard was a first-round pick. Uh, a little trivia thing for you, for you viewers. The... Leonard was picked in the first round by the St. Louis Cardinals, and the next player picked in the first round after Leonard was Dan Marino. <laughs> so that gives you a little bit of context of what they thought about Leonard's ability. Leonard would, would, would stick you. Leonard would knock, hit anything that moved and, and, and really bring Lee it. High School. That's right. And, and you've got a story. You recruited Lee High School back in the day. They yes. were super talented. Yes. Well, I signed five guys off that one team. Five. Yeah, one class. Ricky Stewart. Carl Chenever, Leonard, uh, Cedric Potan, and uh, uh, Brian uh, Jackson, who is at uh, Coach Jackson at Tower, was with us down there at Magnese, and uh, they were they were all good, good, good young men. And for those that, that keep up with the, the '80s, Al Richardson went to Lehigh, and Eugene Daniel. That's right. I Eugene's mean, that was a, a heck of a little group. U Eugene's a class act. Now, Eugene played with the Colts for years. Great technique. And it was like a coach on the field for them. He, he's a really first-class guy. And Modicut, the punter kicker. Modicut went to uh, LSU. LSU. He was signed at LSU. Coach, at one time, Lehigh was one of those three schools you would go to. That was one of the... Yeah, they had a, ri a rich history. Uh, Bill Boffinger is a good friend of mine. Played at LSU and was from Wrestling Lee. Wrestling coach. Rest started, helped start wrestling in Baton Rouge. And Bill was uh, at Lehigh School for years and years and coached. And uh, helped everybody, even helped people on the other teams at, at wrestling meets. Bill would help the kids. I wouldn't want to wrestle him now. He's in shape for, uh, for his age. He looks uh, great. Bill is great. He looks great. Great guy. He's been on the show. And then you became a principal, John. Uh, 
Yeah. Long time at, at Woodlawn from 95 to 2005. I was at Woodlawn 10 years and, and was there when we built a new school, which was quite an experience and you learn a lot from that. Uh, but we had great support at Woodlawn at that time. It was a very good school. Of course, I learned the day-to-day -day operations of how to run a school from my good friend uh, Mac Watts, who was uh, the principal at Bel Air when I was there and, and, and worked with him at Central. And had some good uh, teams at Woodlawn. Uh, had good baseball teams, uh, had good football and basketball, Kenny Allman. Kenny Allman won three state championships, could have won two more. He was uh, undefeated one year, went all the way through the regular season and all the way through the playoffs without losing a game. Chad Durbin came out of there as a major leaguer. I had some great team. Uh, had some great coaches, Benny Saya. Benny Saya. Yeah. Drew Nettles. Mook, Coach Mook. Yeah, Mike Mook was there when I got there. But uh, we, we had some good coaches come through there. Don Jones. Don too. Jones, yes. Yeah, still hired coach. a Hall of Famer at, uh, before I left. Don was coaching as uh, recently as Patterson High School. That's right, I heard that. And I think he'll be back in it. He, yeah. He's not uh, as old as Frank, though. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take a break, actually. Uh, when we come back, we're going to bring Frank back. We're going to have a good time talking to John uh, and Frank. Uh, actually, we've got some time left, man. I, I thought I used up the whole segment. We're still good. So we got three minutes left in the segment. but. But tell everybody what you're doing now, John, from transitioning from principal to well, superintendent. I was, to a, I was a principal at Woodlawn. I was assistant superintendent in charge of high schools. When uh, Warren Drake got the superintendent's job, he asked me to come back and do work with him. And uh, this year I'm doing, uh, I'm, I'm testing my uh, flexibility. Uh, Warren's got me doing uh, uh, facility work, transportation, and and still supervising a few of our middle schools. You're staying busy still. Very busy, but it's interesting, and it keeps me, it keeps me going. I like it. And uh, I've got to give a plug to your wife, who's a principal currently at Baton Rouge High. Yes. Nan. Nan's a, been the Magnet School Principal of the Year for the whole United States. Does and, a great uh, job. Excellent job. She gives more AP tests at Baton Rouge High than any other school in the state. That's amazing. And she, she does a great job, 1,500 kids. Uh, We've got a minute and a half left before we go to break, but I wanted to mention 15-0 LSU this past year, John. 15-0. Yes. Trailed only a couple of quarters right. the whole year, Florida and uh, Clemson. That's right. Have you ever seen a football team, college football team, trail two quarters, go 15-0 and beat seven top ten teams. I don't know if we'll ever see it again. Johnny Nagel and I tell everybody to lock that video up and put it in the vault. We may never see it again. Now you know at, at McNeese uh, I hired Bebe as a graduate assistant coach and Bill Johnson and Steve Waller at the same time as, as it would go. So I feel like... You were a part of the start. Well it feels like, fam <laughs> it feels like family. Yeah. You know you see those guys reaching the pinnacle like they have this year, it's, it's just great to watch. Well, Bebe started his first, I think, ever job was Arkansas. Yeah. Strength coach or well, assistant he, strength coach? Bill and, and uh, Bill and Coach O left me and went to Miami and they hooked up with Jimmy Johnson and they were kind of like volunteer coaches and Johnson helped them get connected and then I think that's when uh, Coach O went to Arkansas. See, all the dots are connecting everyone. Great guys. People forget about the McNeese days. Yeah. And right. now Bebe's sons play for McNeese. That's correct. On the football Quarterback, team. yeah. And Bill played it. Uh, Bill, Bill is more proud of being a Neville Tiger than he is uh, coaching for the Los Angeles Rams because <laughs> he played for Charlie Brown at Neville. And I know we don't want to speak for Bill, but uh, – like to see Bill maybe come back because he could always go to the NFL. He's in high demand. Yeah, Bill. Bill's had a, a great career and he's a great guy to have around. Great, great coach. He's uh, and I, funny. Bill is hilarious. Funny guy. Yes, he is. Good sense of humor. See, I didn't know he was at McNeese. All these yeah he was conversations at, we've had. Uh, Northwestern, then McNeese, then uh, with Miami with uh, Johnson, and then he then he started moving up. That's what people don't understand, that if you look at Nichols, McNeese, Northwestern, all the coaches yeah. that have come out of those programs in, right. in Southern Grambling, ULM, and Tech. Yeah, it gives, you know, it gives uh, coaches a, a, a stepping stone. It also gives a lot of good young athletes uh, opportunities that uh, – they don't all go to LSU or some other big school. We're going to come back. John, stay here, and we're going to bring Frank Monica in, and we're going to have two more segments, and we'll have fun. And now that we've introduced everybody, we're just going to have fun talking high school, college football. We'll be right back.
This throbbing neck pain was so bad it moved to my shoulders and was causing severe headaches. Then a friend suggested I choose Peak. Two weeks later, the pain was completely gone. So glad I chose Peak. Choose Peak Performance Physical Therapy. Honey, what's wrong with the disposer? What disposer? Frog drain. Call Roto-Rooter, America's neighborhood drain expert. CSC Customs has moved to a bigger state-of-the-art facility to serve you better. We are your one-stop shop for automotive custom work, including bed liners, wheels, tires, lift kits, upholstery, and window tinting. CSC's full-view showroom means you can watch in comfort and see every phase of work on your vehicle. CSC is famous for its lifetime guarantee on labor and for manufacturer's warranty work. Shop where the auto dealers shop for custom work. CSC Customs, airline at Old Jefferson, next to Brian Harris Audi. I'll leave for a little while. And all you other letters think you can take over my town. Look at you. None is just even a vow. If the people want the money they deserve for their accident. The E guarantee. And as for you other letters, it's time you were erased. My shoulder pain got so bad I couldn't lift anything overhead. So I chose Peak Performance and I can't believe how much better I am now. Peak really does get you back into the game of life. Choose Peak. Choose Peak Performance Physical Therapy. Welcome back. I want to go ahead with Sean. Here's John's LSU pitcher back in the day. Yeah, I was. Uh, it says senior, but that was a that picture was taken when I was a freshman. Okay. The actual picture. It's it, it's in Photoshop. a program. John, was that Photoshop? Right there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, evidently. <laughs> Wish I looked that young now. That's the Grizzly Great. The Grizzly picture. Greats. Yeah. The Catholic High jacket. Yeah, I look pretty good there. <laughs> nice jacket. That's the uh, it fits. That's the signing day picture. We signed that many guys from Baton Rouge that you had. We signed 44 freshmen that year. Wow. Uh, left to right, Ronnie Reed from Glen Oaks, Buddy Milliken from Struma, Princeton Bardwell, Baton Rouge High, myself, Steve Polozola, and Buddy Lee wow. from Zachary. Wow. And Coach Pop Strange was in. Uh, wow. Strange. He was the Nader before Sam Nader, huh? He's that's seen. right. He, uh, this is a good picture at the Sugar Bowl. Uh, Judge Brian Jackson on on the left there was on the Sugar Bowl committee, and was nice to us and uh, standing there with Archie. Archie Manning between yeah. Archie Manning and Leonard Smith and uh, yeah. Archie's still a class guy. Oh yeah. Leonard no man, he, yeah. great no great safety. There's O. There's a Coach O. Yeah. That's a good picture of one uh, one of our little reunions at Mike Anderson's. Uh, Coach O has been great to the ex players. And that explain that to people. There might be some ex Tigers that don't know, but. Y'all get together every yeah. so many uh, About every weeks. three or four months. Uh, okay. Mark Lumpkin uh, organizes the whole thing, and he makes sure everybody gets emailed about when we're going to meet. And we've been having some great turnouts. And Coach O is nice enough to come by and say a few words. He's really made ex-players uh, feel welcome. This is my favorite, one of my favorite pictures with, with Jimmy Taylor. Jimmy uh, Taylor. He, he's one of the greats uh, and tough, tough as nails. Hate that we lost, lost him. him last yeah, year. Uh, right. Great. And Leonard, Leonard was a great competitor. Would and, you say uh, he was the best player you ever signed? Yes, by far, by far. Leonard, Leonard could run a four-four power clean, three hundred thirty pounds, jump up flat-footed on top of an automobile, <laughs> take one apart and put it back together. And he was a jumbo DB, big guy that could big run. Big guy, and he would hit anything that moved. Man, here's another great one. This is a great picture. Uh, Warren Rabb, who I'm proud to be able to say is a friend of mine, the quarterback from the 58 team, and, and Jimmy. He's got and, his Canton, Ohio jacket got on. Got his Hall of Fame jacket. And he, we had a hometown heroes thing at Baton Rouge High, NFL start. He brought the gold football that they gave him and presented it to the school. That's great. And he, he, was, he stayed around for a long time talking to the young people, students at the school. He did a great job. 
Uh, the, the Letterman plaque, Letterman LSU plaque. from 1970. I like that plaque. I like the design. That's, yeah, I uh, like it. It's, yeah, it's held up well, too. Yeah. Better than I have. <laughs> <laughs> it's in my office. <laughs> We're, we're going to have some footage uh, of, uh, of McNeese and USL. You know, you want to say UL, yeah. ULL. They were definitely USL. When we beat U them nine U years U in a row. USL. <laughs> they, uh, but back that was a the, great rival. They don't want to play. Uh, I mean, nah. Still, that's a tough game for them. Yeah, it, it's a little uh, regional uh, you yeah, know, One thing. hour away. Yeah, little... People know everybody, and it's very competitive. Well, here is USL. Raging Cajuns against your McNeese State team. Yeah. 1984, Coach. That's kind of like the boot and bow, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I see the M, so that's at home. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, that's Southland Conference. Uh, it's some good football. Football. Yeah, a lot of good players back in those days. It was good, good league. The 80s was really good. Yeah, that, well, we had league. some great games with Louisiana Tech. Uh, Northwestern beat us in McNeese. At McNeese and broke our. We had a 16-game winning streak and they beat us. Coach Monica, what do you think about this old film? This is uh, I, good I, stuff. I love it. I like the, the eye formation and the <laughs> yeah. ISO play. I mean, yeah. that went, that went out with Pat Boone, you know. Yeah, and this right. is uh, I think what USL and, and the white and red helmets here. McNeese on defense. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that's right. We had the gold pants and uh, those uh, yellow gold I mean, helmets. USL was pretty good in the 80s. They, yeah, uh, they were they were pretty good. They we, beat Texas A and M with Jake Delone. Yeah, well, we yeah I don't I don't remember competing against Jake. I was at the Hall of Fame when Jake was inducted in yeah. Natchitoches. They had a very real, real nice guy. The late Nelson Stokely was right was their head coach, and then they uh, had uh, Brandon Stokely, his son, with a heck of a I, I recruited Jake for a couple years. In fact, uh, one of my demise was the fact that we didn't get him at Tulane, and, yeah. and uh, he has a great story to tell about that. Spent a lot of time recruiting him, Coach? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just great. Look, the scoreboard, the old scoreboard, no, you know, smaller scoreboards back yeah, then. Yeah, no digital. Everything uh, is, uh, you yeah. know, 5,000 square feet wide. You know, oh, Jumbotron. Jumbotron, sure. yeah. 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 Well, we had some good crowds. Uh, we've, we've, Phil's in good shape, you can tell. Yeah, Phil's we, good we shape. One, we had a great uh, uh, grass Did you have field. to paint it, Coach? You'd have to paint a few back then? Back in the day? No, I didn't I'm still it. doing mine. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Joe Moore was in charge of uh, the grounds back then. Joe did a great job with that field. So we, yeah. we, we even faked it. It looked like a bubble in. Uh, coach looked like yeah. a bubble screen. We faked it. Now, this is McNeese on offense. Which was fancy for us. Threw the ball a little bit little back bit, in the day. Yeah, yeah. A little bit. You know, special teams is always important. We were, we were a, a eye, a power sweep option. Look at these gunners, man. Look at, look at Coach, look at all those guys come down. Seven uh, guys. Great, great punt coverage. Great special teams coaching, yeah. huh, Coach? You got, a co you got a coach? Yeah. You don't see that anymore. You might see one or two gunners in college ball, but seven? Mm-hmm. Well, that was, that was good to see. Tight formation. Yeah, that you was don't good see to that see. often at all. And, uh, you know, it's good to pull out the, the old film and, and remember these old teams. And these guys are still with us and watching. And the show goes to Lake Charles. I'm sure you're going to bring up a lot of memories to some of your players. Yes. Former players. Yeah, we had, some, had a lot of guys from Baton Rouge playing uh, at McNeese over the years. The guys from Lehigh we talked about. And uh, John Miller, who was a wrestler and played at, uh, at Lee, played at McNeese Forest, defensive tackle. And had probably some of those Texas kids from that orange oh, yeah. Beaumont area. Yeah, we recruited over there good. We're yeah. going to take a break. we got another segment with Coach Frank Monica and John McCann. We're going to be right back. I'm injury lawyer E. Eric Gayroy. Does the Superman comic where he leaves Earth and comes back only to find a bunch of other superheroes trying to fight evil but just not getting the job done? Well, I'm back. Now there's all these other lawyers on TV saying they can help you with their injury claim, but something's just not the same. There's only one Superman, and there's only one E. E. Aaron Gayroy. E-Guarantee.com. Get the E. Guarantee. Hi, we are live with the PPTV Network, where one of the top athletes is about to make his important decision. We know his character, and nothing will hold him back. I'm glad to have my family and friends here for this choice. It's more than my career. It will affect the rest of my life. I choose peak performance physical therapy. The decision is in. Why choose peak? The reputation and their regular success is unmatched. When it matters most, another patient chooses peak performance physical therapy. Honey, what's wrong with the 
disposer? What disposer? Clog drain. Call Roto-Rooter, America's neighborhood drain expert. Welcome back. I want to thank the Marriott, our hotel, and we have people that stay overnight. We were able to put them at the Marriott over the last uh, 15 years. Thank Ralph Ney and his staff. Uh, go see the Marriott. It's been refurbished. Uh, it took three years. It's a nice, nice, nice go to hotel. Stink, go to Stinky's. Stinky's <laughs> Restaurant. It started, I think, in, in Florida and Destin, mm -hmm. and now it's, uh, it's in the hotel. Frank, if you're ever in town, that's a so they're big in the sports, and we, we thank them for their support. We've got some more footage before we get into talk with Frank, Monica again, and John. We've got some 1970 footage of LSU when John was on the team for Charlie McClendon. And here we go, John, uh, 1970 team. That's Mississippi State. That's the old state jerseys, huh? Yeah, those maroon jerseys. And who's the quarterback here? Is that Burt? Uh, that's Burt Jones. Jones. Seven. Yeah. 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 Is that and Hamilton? They, Hamilton. Andy, Andy Hamilton? Yeah. Rustin to Rustin? The Rustin, yeah. Uh, they yeah. threw the ball. I'm surprised we got some throwing plays, Coach, back yeah. in the 70s. A little play season. action. A little play yeah. action, yeah. yeah. Mac didn't throw a lot, huh, Coach? Uh, the first yes, Bert. We had played Notre Dame, which is yeah. a Bert, very Catholic great arm. school yeah. in, in South Louisiana. Saban said he's a, when he was with Cleveland, he said Bert had the best arm he's ever seen. I could read that. Notre I just wish Bert would have got, got on some of the greater teams in the pros. Yeah. He caught the Colts when they were – down, yeah. During that yeah. time, future All America Ronnie Estee was one of the Looks like Notre Dame here. Yeah, that is no, that's Thiesman. Joe Thiesman. Yeah. They beat us three nothing in South Bend. I remember that. Uh, and that's the game I think that Johnny Nagel says there was a couple of drop interceptions. Him and Casanova. Yeah, that's right. Could have changed the outcome a little bit. That's off the Davis from Sulphur, '93. Notre Dame was huge then, huh? They were bigger John. before everybody was big. Uh, Walt Patulski. Greg Marks. Uh, Parsegian is here? Yeah. I had a chance to meet him. Greg Swenson was a defensive end. He was 6'7", 265. And, and LSU's D-line was 225? Yeah, the, their, their linebackers were as big as our line. Look at Joe. That's when Joe had a little, uh, little dual threat legs in him here. He had the worst, oh. day, worst day of his career. That Against day. LSU. Yeah, statistically. Our defense was fantastic. Ronnie Este was pretty Great good in that player. team. Sage. Bevin. This is that's, Pat. Is that Sullivan at quarterback? That's the, Auburn. That's the goal line stand against Auburn. Anderson uh, stuffed him right there on the goal the Heisman line. Trophy winner for all. Here's Archie. That's Archie with his full cast on his arm. We beat him 61 17. The game was moved to the end of the year because of a hurricane. I know it's a robbery today. That's, uh, that's Mike Anderson. John, but it was really a robbery back then. Oh, yes. Yeah. Nothing. Could, people think Alabama's a rival, but LSU and Ole Miss, Ole Miss was, is the, huge. Yes. was the old school rival. Greg Burns. I still points. have the opportunity. With, I worked the Manning camps. Still have the opportunity to see Archie every summer. Yeah, great guy. Craig Burns, Baton Rouge High. He was a good player. Good, very good player. Safety and a good baseball player. Now guys don't even play defense in their return kick punts and yeah. kicks, huh, Coach? Yep. yep. Special, special teams. Special teams have gotten their own coordinators now. Yeah. In the past, a, a I, position I, coach had it. I want to change the subject. with stay football. The XFL. Yes. I watched a couple of games. I love football. Coach Monica, what is your opinion of this new league? I love it. I love it. I think it's a, it's a, it's an extension of the season. It gives more guys an opportunity to play. Their career's not over with. It becomes more of a form system for for the football. I mean, the NFL a lot like what baseball has done. It should be something cuz not everybody is 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 college material right. academically. So, right. but give them a chance. They want to play football. Give them a chance to earn a couple of dollars. And the rules are a little quirky, you know, with some, of the, mm -hmm. especially the kickoff thing. Yeah. But, uh, uh, but I, I still football on, on the snap of the ball. Still, the line of scrimmage has to be established. I liked US, the USFL, mm -hmm. and then you know I liked NFL Europe. But like I said, it was a good training ground. And John, do you you follow I, it? You I watch watched it? the parts of the first two XFL thing. They're doing a better job now than they did the first time. The in-game interviews. Or right. interesting and being right. able to hear the coaches call the plays and, and, and the quarterbacks calling it and all that. It, it's a nice little edge. It's a good concept with coaches, too. They can work three months and get a nice little salary just, just for three months there. Mm. Yeah. I think it's got a great concept. Uh, here's something I want to throw out to Coach Monica and John. And some people love it. Some people hate it. Rules to the, to the game, high school, college. The ball's kicked in the end zone, automatic touchback. Or... Your punt returner 
uh, your kick returner. All he has to do is put his hand in the air, and you could be anywhere, and right. it's dead. We're, we're so safety think, conscious now, Lee, that that's really, really, it, 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 it's one of my pet peeves. You don't get to see that anymore. In high school, you know, they don't allow us to throw. Our quarterback, when he breaks the pocket, is not allowed to throw the ball out of bounds. And I don't know why. We had it as a pilot program yeah, at one yeah. time. To me, it's a safety factor. I'm giving the defense up or down, and, right. but, but yet it, 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 you can't do that in high school. But on Saturday, you can do it, and Sunday, you can do it. Yeah. So to me, there's a, there's a conflict of interest there. John, yeah. do you like the, uh, the kickoff rule? Uh, no, college? I, I, I like the, the rules, like in the pros, doing away with the wedge mm -hmm. and, and not being able to rock below the waist. But I'd like to see guys return, return the kicks. I think it's an exciting play. I, I think the most exciting play in football, we've taken it out of the game. Right. That's right. Uh, anything that you'd like to see change, John, on the college end? Anything between uh, blocking? You were an O-lineman. Well, it's a lot. Do you feel of, like there's a lot of ticky-tack calls on the O-lineman? Well, as long as they keep their hands in the right place, uh, they won't call it. But you could call holding every play. Every play, yeah. Uh, but it's part of the technique because of the passing game and the size and the lineman and the the length of their arms and everything, uh, I, you still, even when you get down to these championship games, uh, as, as Frank said, even with the spread, you've got to win it up front. Mm -hmm. Some got to, if you can control that line of scrimmage on defense with that front four and not blitz as much, mm -hmm. it, it's a big difference. It's a big advantage. The one call I, I don't like is a delay screen. Lyman downfield. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because the lineman, what is he supposed to? I mean, he's going, right? Mm -hmm. Right. He's trying to block. If yeah. the back hesitates, he's as, downfield. As long as the ball behind the line of scrimmage. But right, what do you right. think of that, Coach? I mean, I, I mean it, it's a little advantage there. In the NFL, they're not supposed to do that, but they still do it. They get away with it. Yeah. You know, on that note, Lee, I would love to see high school put instant replay in for fumbles only. Only for fumbles because that's the most controversial like play. Yeah. When John and I first played and coached, you could not return a fumble for a touchdown. Right. Now you get a controversial fumble and right. you can get the touchdown at the same time. That should be reviewed. And if it can't be determined uh, uh, by instant replay, then the, the call on the field stands. I think that's the greatest concept I've heard all year. Just fun, it, we got, we, we're out of time. Uh, Coach Monica, thank you again well, thank you for, for having being me. here. Yes. Keep doing a great job, Coach John. Yeah. I'm about to call you Coach. Coach, yeah. you're I, I coach, still answer the John coach. McCann. It's great to see Frank. Yeah, great to see John. I mean, I haven't seen him in and, years. Uh, yeah. We're not going to leave. We're going to take pictures. I got shirts for you before you leave. Uh, you're watching Louisiana Football Magazine.